What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you Marquee Matchups Week 6, I believe. Now, before I get into this, because I get countless comments, if your squad, you've built it identical to me, and you don't have the exact same chemistry as me, it's because your players weren't pack-pulled, so you need loyalty bonus. To do this, go on FIFA 7, uh, like type into YouTube, FIFA 17, no loss glitch, to find an easy way to do this within 20 minutes. Basically, it'll play 10 games without affecting your record, and you'll get the bonus chemistry point. I get so many comments about that, and I'm apologizing to everyone who has to hear me say that every single video because of people who are pretty incompetent and can't actually listen. But anyway, on to the actual thing. We've got uh, Joan Book versus FC Saul. I think, um, you know, I've butchered those names, but this one is extremely easy. Now, bar these two players, it is going to be very, very cheap. One all players pack. That that's not a 50k pack, surely. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I've just seen the reward for that. But anyway, these players will be getting price fixed, so it doesn't really matter who you use. I, I guarantee he's going to be what 5k minimum. Uh, like oh, okay, he's a little cheaper. So this might be worth doing, depending on what the reward is. Uh, then we've got this guy from the corresponding clubs. You literally need one player from uh, Jumba Conde. And uh, FC Saul and then the rest of it you can literally use bronze and silver so what I've done I've picked Bolton Wanderers and Walsall because you need an exact four clubs so I've got the strikers locked off they get me seven chem I think anyway and then everyone else because they're all English they're all in the same league and uh, yeah I needed to pick two clubs so I've literally picked Walsall so we got this guy uh, Ginnelly left mid uh, then we've got Oliver centre mid Davies, centre mid, Morris, right uh, mid, Moxie, left back, Thorpe, who I believe was, yeah, Tom Thorpe, he was a Man United uh, Academy graduate, yeah, anyway, Beavers, centre back, uh, Edwards, right back, and Howard, the goalkeeper, so yeah, all those players, up. oh my god, apart from the, the two up front will literally cost you about 200, like, you don't have to use these players in particular, but I know some people will, uh, so that's fine, but you can pick any two clubs and uh, I'm trying to show you there's a couple that I bought for 200 there There you go. Even the rares are 200. So we're just going to submit that for an all players pack Because it says that's not 50k is it? They would say rare. I think that's literally the Four gold four silver four bronzes, which is a bit disappointing if it is But anyway next one is Lanzarano versus Hurricane and this is very similar to the first one literally you don't need gold It says a maximum player uh, Players of gold. So uh, yeah, you just need one San Lorenzo player one Hurricane player and uh, the rest of them can be whoever you want. So in there, I've got uh, Costanzo. They have to be, well, they don't have to be, but it's easier just picking Argentina because there's an abundance of them. You can get bronze, silvers. Uh, Parasani, or whatever his name was, Matiao, uh, Casuasolo. Uh, honestly, I can't pronounce anything. Pitan, uh, Compagnuji. Wow, the, some of these names, Mercia, I'm trying to think of the ones that, there we go, he was one that I actually needed, uh, San Lorenzo, where is the other one, I, I don't even know who the Hurricane player is, is it this guy, nope, Colan, uh, I'll find him eventually, there we go, the Hurricane player is this guy, uh, the Compag Nuji, um, and then we've got two other cams that I've just got for Mika. You can use any players, but some people do uh, criticise because I don't show the players uh, often enough. So Uscudero, and then up front Molini. So yeah, literally just get 11 Argentinian players as cheap as possible. Get one San Lorenzo player and one Hurricane player. They are going to cost you a fuck ton. Like this is the problem with marquee matchups. Um, Players always get price fixed. In fairness, that guy isn't actually too much, but I'm presuming this bronze guy will be. Uh, he'll be getting price fixed. Like, oh my god! Like, look at that. 3.2k bids. Yeah, he goes for like 5, 6k. And considering you only get 1,000 coin, 2,000 coins, and a 5k pack for that one, even though it's really cheap for that player. Uh, you have to question whether it's worth it. But anyway, I think these two coming up are because you get a 25k pack and a prime pack. But this one has constraints which are a bit irritating. So you need to have 82 chemistry, which is what I've got exactly. Again, use the loyalty 
uh, glitch, well, the loyalty bonuses or pack pulled. So yeah, use that if you've only got 72 if you build it like me. I'm only using players in my club, so there's better options. Like I've got Quintero there as a cam, so he literally only get me about two chem or three chemistry. But uh, if you used any other striker, you wouldn't have that problem. But there's two positions locked off, as you can see. So it kind of restricts you to having to use um, Liga Nos players. You need two Porto players, two Benfica players, and they all need to be a different nationality. So originally I had a few Portuguese in there, but literally every single one has to be a different nationality. So the players I've used got Casillas in that. He's, I think he's one of the more expensive ones, about 1.7K, but I, I needed to because uh, yeah, Spain, there's not a lot. Well, there is, but in terms of goalkeepers, I think there's usually Brazil or uh, Portuguese, and uh, yeah, I, I just was using players at my club. Pereira on the right, uh, I've already showed you because yes, we've got this Nilsson, who's one of the Benfica players. Uh, he's Swedish, so he might be going for a little bit more. Uh, Luasu, the uh, the Brazil centre back, Elisu. Uh, the left back, then we've got Corona in right wing, Brahimi on the other side. Now these players aren't as expensive as you probably would think. Like some of the higher rated ones are cheaper than the lower rated ones. Deportiri uh, as a striker and then Quintero. So we're going to submit that for 1,000 coins and uh, a 25k players pack, I think, yeah. And then the last one, Arsenal versus Spurs. Similar to the last one, it's got three player well sections sectioned off so you only need eight players a minimum chemistry of 74 again you might need the loyalty bonus for this but this one is probably the cheapest and it probably warrants the best because there are so many spurs and arsenal players and you only need two of each like they're, they're hardly going to be going for anything seeing that they go for a little bit more than i thought two two k bids maybe two and a half you'd be looking at three k for the arsenal and the spurs players let's have a look at uh, lamella there on the other side. Okay, Lamella is literally like just under 2k. Uh, in Kudu, what's he? Oh, well, he's untradeable. I think Cockland's untradeable as well, so I won't be able to check. But yeah, like apart from them, the rest of them are Premier League players, so it's really, really cheap. And you are getting a 45k pack for this, so I think it's worth it. So we've got Barrigan there, we've got Monreal, uh, Cockland, Besic, I think, yep. Yeah. Uh, Lamella, Lanzini, um, Akoka up front and then in kudu so literally just use any premier league players they do have to be gold uh the chemistry has to be a minimum of 74 and uh yeah obviously you can't use center backs or goalkeepers because they're locked off so we'll submit that and we'll get to opening the rewards we get 5k back from this from doing the whole thing it's a bit of a shame like marquee matchups they haven't given a, a free draft token for like the last two or three and uh, i thought i was good for completing it like i enjoyed getting a free draft token because it's you know saving me 15k if i want to play the draft uh but they, they've stopped that for whatever reason hopefully they bring it back in next week's but anyway four packs and again it, it's really hard to determine whether these are actually worth it and yeah the old players pack was the the gold silver and bronze ones doesn't look as though we've got anything but of course we we might have packed some of the players that you need in the squad building challenges we've just done doesn't look as though we have though. Um, I'll just store them all in club anyway. This guy might go for a bit though. Toronto, obviously the MLS thing, uh, not really that much. So I'll, I'll, I'll just store him in club and I'll send all the rest to the transfer list. We didn't get anything in that pack, but of course we've got better packs left. But because players get price fixed so often for these marquee matchups, you've got people looking at fixtures three, four weeks in advance, so they're picking up loads of players. Like, I think Panathinaikos versus Olympiakos was this week, and so many players stocked up on... Uh, sorry, so many people stocked up on many players because they thought they would increase, and they haven't because they haven't really been... Uh, well, they haven't been picked. So, yeah, it's, it's very risky, and then you've got to go out and buy the players that are price fixed for 4 or 5k, and sometimes the rewards just aren't justified. And look at that, that wasn't even a 25k pack, that was a 12.5k pack that you got for doing the other one. So these are really losing their value, which is a bit disappointing considering they're only six weeks in. Um, the 40, if I were to actually look at this because of the rewards, literally the only one I would say is worth your time doing is the Arsenal Spurs one. Like, because you only need eight players, the Arsenal players and the Spurs players combined are probably going to cost you 8k, 10k, and then the rest of the Premier League players, the next four, 
you're looking at two two k so what that's a maximum of 12k for a 45k pack so that is worth it hopefully we can get something good doesn't look as though it's a walkout it's a shit flare as well so they haven't really been kind to me coleman's not bad but he doesn't go for too much um let's see if there's like a renato sanchez in there as well probably not but yeah, that was, that was very disappointing for me. So for me, personally, that definitely was not worth it. Um, for the amount that I could have got if I just sold the players that were in demand, I probably could have got more than these rewards. So uh, yeah, hopefully there's more squad building challenges later today because the uh, the Screamer cards expire. And of course, there's now Movember cards, so there might be some Movember squad builder challenges. So uh, we'll check them out if there are, and I'll bring you a video as soon as possible. So. Hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.